Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to know that we're all on a mission um, to, to manifest love and uh just getting on different levels of spirituality and being able to open ourselves to whatever is trying to guide towards our way and positivity and love and light is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are... Um, you know comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath or going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their soul path the spiritual path or even their you know their journey or purpose please go ahead and share and uh also give me a thumbs up like and also share in your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support it's greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to uh resonate with the content of my video i'm so sorry this meditation it got me like i'm getting downloads while i'm trying to say something and it got me caught off guard so i apologize if it seemed like i stopped for a minute kind of spaced out because it's like all these different things is coming in at the same time so if you're you're listening to this it's like i've been picking some really powerful meditations lately so i've been sending out to my love bugs and you know i'm just like dang these are really good and they're opening up for all these downloads and information and stuff that i truly need to come in my life especially if i need to go ahead and reach out and tell somebody um it's called experience oneness meditation present moment asmr 3d binarial beats of nature manifestation these asmr videos has really been like messing me up the long way but it's for the positive situation it's a positive impact that's placing in my life so my video today is about twin flame 101 being able to find self-love and comfort through these uh trying times putting the understanding for the uh for the purpose um yeah it's just like a lot of times you know we need to seek you know the answers that is like sometimes we're in a stressful situation we can be dealing with dark times dark, dark moments you know you could be in a very emotional state situation but you're constantly getting signs that you know to just keep going a little bit longer just hold on um things are about to shift and it's just like sometimes it feels like our lives can be falling apart at that moment dealing with a lot of stress anger sadness irritation anxiety impatient oh trust me i know i got all this going on but then when i try to you know take the you know separate my emotions from the whole concept of the things that i'm going through is teaching you this process is teaching you self-love is teaching you patience patience is supposed to be a virtue um being able to have faith in the things that are unseen you know because there's a lot of things that shift in you know behind closed doors and behind the curtains that we have no concept of knowing what god and universe is about to place in our lives where it feels like you know life is falling apart you're trying to seek answers and sometimes we seek answers in the wrong thing you know we go towards people that really shouldn't be in in that situation you're allowing the floodgates and your business to be out and there's a lot of times they tell you to seek in meditation um that usually i'll highlight things for you there you know like i always I, i'm not that type of person to wish anything bad on anybody but i would tell them hey don't do this you know because this can bring some bad aura into your life or some bad negative unwanted vibes towards you so don't do that you know i'm just like very careful tell people be careful about what business you put out there you know what what things that you need to let out because i'm not you know there's people i've dealt with that has preyed upon the things that I've opened up to them about. So I'm very, very selective about things that I tend to talk about now because it's like I usually handle it on my own or, you know, I could be sending out a message and need me some guidance and then it takes that person like about a few hours for it to get into. And then it's just like that's just telling me um, 
this is something you can meditate on and you'll get your answer. You don't need to have them in your business like that. And I'm like, okay, I, I get it. I understand. And my friend would be like, hey, you know, do you still need to talk? I said, oh, no, I got the answer. And I don't want them to think I was copping an attitude because they took all day. Because you don't know what they're doing. You know, their life is hectic just like yours. You have priorities and stuff that you really need to take care of. But then when you start seeing the process on everything that you had to go through at that moment in time, you you tend to be more grateful about the, you know, the, about the speed bumps that are in your life. You know, there's a lot of things that you're starting to separate from that is no longer needed in your life. It served its purpose, when it, it, even if it has to be like an addiction. And addiction doesn't always have to be drugs or anything like that. It could be you holding on to painful situations. You know, you're dealing with things in a negative way. Um, you're letting go of toxic people, you know, um, just people that are just causing drama or got their own stuff. Always up in somebody else's business can give everybody else advice, but don't take heed in their advice they're giving out. You know, there's a lot of times people are like, I've been even vowed to do that. But I'm just like, girl, you need to be able to take your own advice sometimes. But I keep it real. You know, I go through many different things, but I'm grateful for every experience that I have, whether it's bad or or whether it's good because there's always a lesson into that situation you always have to know and it's a blessing as well too you know it just it, it just depends you know it's just like sometimes you know i have friends that or even associates that i've uh in passing that i've got in touch with and they're just in that dark place and it just seems like they're more comfortable in that dark place because they're that's what how they use things and i try to tell them Hey, you know, you have to be able to love yourself. You have to be able to be happy with every aspect of your life. And then you can be able to bring something else in. But you're not going to be able to bring it in if you keep on going through that dark circle that you you were just so comfortable getting out of. And it's just like if you've been there so long, for you to be able to try something new in a positive sense, it's going to send your whole body in a shock because you're so used to looking at things in a neg negative way, a negative aspect, a negative perspective. So going through all those different things is it has taught you a lot of things you had to clearly go through because it's like i said with my situation i've been through so much but i can be grateful for even things that i'm still trying to you know heal with you know i can really look at, at myself and like girl you have really came a long way it's just like when i can go back and look at my videos from what i did to what i'm doing now it's just like i said it's just a video diary me being able to open up and tell the world i'm going through these things and maybe this can relate to something that you're probably going through or struggling with at the time in your life you're at that milestone where you it just seems like everything's in shambles my life is all over the place my mind's all over the place my aura is not you know all over the place i'm not balanced i'm not aligned you know i'm just trying to you know trying to meet myself there at that point and that's when you usually have to take time for self-care you always supposed to take time for self-care you're supposed to always take time out for meditation and there's a lot of times i have to tell myself not when i'm just doing videos i don't need to meditate i need to be able to do that when i'm taking my self-care and, you know, it's just like a lot of times, you know, like before, if you've been with me for a while, you would know I would be nonstop, tell, you know, putting out six, seven videos at a time, doing counseling, uh, doing one on one video chats, answering emails and, you know, doing live streams. Everybody's like, Rosalind, you ain't been did live stream in a while. My life is just all over the place. I, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> I thought I was, but I'm not ready for that yet. It'll get there if it's meant for me to go that way. It was like it was meant for me at that moment in time. Because it was like I thought my computer was broke, so I was just using my phone for live feed. But I know if I was to try to make a video like I do here on my laptop, it will take like about four or five days just for me to upload or something like that. So um, everything happens for a reason. So it's just like when you're going through things, uh, being able to know that the spirit guides are there to help you universe is always there your archangels is always there just whatever you're struggling with that time and you know who your art you know your archangels are to call on for those certain situations even if you don't google it it will tell you you know like okay you you need to call up if you're trying to let go of this and this and that you call archangel michael or if you're doing this going you know struggling with this call archangel raphael or if you're struggling with the heart this and this and that call you know archangel uriel all these different people because they're always there, but it is, everything is also a free will. You can't, you know, they can't intervene if you don't help. Only The only time that I've seen them intervene like that if it's on a life or death situation. Because if it ain't your time, they're going to make sure somebody intervene on certain situations like that. But never feel like, you know, and it's hard because I've done it before. Never feel like you're not going to be able to get through this. You know, you have to keep telling yourself it takes time. 
I have to be patient with myself. I have to be gentle with myself. Because a lot of times, universe places us in certain situations, not for us to change the situation, but have the situation change you. You know, if you're just in a situation and you don't learn patience, you don't have faith in the universe, you don't have this, they will put you in certain situations where you have no choice but to have faith in the unseen. You will have to have patience. Because if you want these things in your life, you're going to have to keep going through them until you can get the gist of why you had to go through this to get to where you really, really are trying to go. And it's just like when I see the things that I'm, you know, I'm aiming towards and everything, I really see the purpose behind everything I had to go through. And I'm more than grateful for that. And I had to tell the universe that today, all the things that has entered my life that is really, you know, has really been hectic for me to have to handle. It has brought me so many blessings because it taught me to have faith in in the unseen it taught me to have patience even though when things weren't going my way I can see that it worked out in the long run for that being able to not stay mad at something you cannot change if there's something that's going on like you know you you need money at that certain time but you only had like about you know a few dollars just to get what you had to get and then you see something else done popped off and but you know it's already been you know taken care of you can't get mad if you their extra things didn't come in maybe you didn't you know they felt like you didn't need it at that time you have to be able to see things that you know money is not always the root of happiness and they always say that and there's a lot of billionaires that say that and i'd be looking like shoot you speak for yourself you you can wipe your butt with a hundred dollar bill and throw it away and it ain't gonna hurt you nothing but then you have to really see there's a lot of people that have a lot of money and is not happy you know being able to do everything they do you know looking at the kardashians look do some you know i love them and everything but y'all say there's some insecurities and unhappiness right there and they got a lot of money in the world but they just can't see some of the self-love that they need to give themselves and they're trying to find it in the exterior instead of the interior and i said like i love their show and everything because they teach me a lot <laughs> i'll be noting the self don't be doing this you know but whatever but everybody goes through certain situations and it's just a sad situation when it comes to you know certain celebrities because theirs is all out and open and i know that has to be a lot of pressure for you know how you just dealing with things but you when they look how they got to deal with it they're dealing with a lot of things but they, everybody else is in their business so that brings out a lot more, you know, ex excess stress that you have to really have to deal with. But it's just like when I say I look at that show, I can sit up here and say it has taught me a lot of things. You know, I say I like their business savvy and all that stuff, but there's a lot of things that they do I won't do. But hey, it is, you know, what works for them might not work for me. So it's just like all these different things that, you know, go on into your life knowing they're, they're occurring for a reason. Knowing they have a place of value. That is going to, you know, place into your life the like, oh, dang, I really had it. that situation. I really taught me a lot, but it uh, had me, you know, and I helped me heal. I got power and strength from that certain situation and gave me extra knowledge on what to do and what not to do, what to accept, what not to accept, be kind with myself and let stuff go. You know, all these different things, everything that you that is taking you through those trying times has, has served a very positive purpose. You have to be able to just step back and look at it for what it's worth. And that's what I love to do when people got certain situations that go on in their life. Look at it from a different perspective. Don't look at it when you you all up in your feelings because it's not going to work because you're only going to see one side anyway. But when you finally get to that point where you're at that common point and say, OK, what was this situation trying to teach me? I always do that when I get out of my feelings about certain things. And I'm just like, well, Dad, you know what? You right. And thank you. You know, and I have to be able to say thank you for that. I appreciate it. I'm grateful. And you know, the more that you're grateful, the more blessings that you tend to get from the universe. Because they're just saying, you know what? She, they're very grateful for the things that we have taught them in our life. Go and bless them with something else. I'm like, thank you. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Be responsible at every single thing you do. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you were truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And much love to uh, Chef Disaster, Amory Sleep, and Katie Straight. Much love to you. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. And be wild. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, give me a thumbs up, yeah, and give me your feedback towards this, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.